morning. It's um, the 27th of March, 18 years ago today, my daughter Erin was born. There's a little um, set up there for when she wakes up. Lily and myself set that up last night. And uh, there's confetti all over the shop. Those balloons are weird. Anyway, um, that was um, what happened last night up until 3 a.m. actually. And now I'm gonna do a drawing because, um, you know, I know I was saying, gosh, I wanted you to see the freezes as well, but really there's hardly any point because I don't think you can really see them on the windowsill there. Anyway, I thought I'd just um, bite the bullet and do a quick drawing of these freezes. And what I've got, because because of the 18s, we kind of took everything out to the studio, so I don't actually have any paint or anything to hand. But I have these pens, and I thought rather than try and set up myself again to do a painting, I would just use the back of the sketchbook here. I wanted to try the white pens on black on black paper, so I'm just using the back of the sketchbook to um, draw these freesia that you can barely see. You can't see them at all. They're in that. I'll just show you the most close. I mean, they're kind of at the end of their tether, really. But I thought they might be quite nice on that sheet of black paper drawn with the white pens that I've got. Um, I mean, they're backlit now, so it's not so easy, but I think they'll be all right. Yeah, I'm just going to look at the structure of a few of them. I mean, this is going to be a short enough video. And actually, you might have guessed, I don't have the microphone on. Again, that's in the studio somewhere as well. Oh, welcome. <laughs> My name is Anya Devine and I'm a painter and an art teacher and um, and I really thrive on, um, you know, creative play, I suppose, and, and kind of sharing that enthusiasm that I have for that and re remembering and recognising how important it is for me to express myself creatively every day in some way, whether it's to do a little jig in the kitchen or whatever. Um, okay, so that's the end of the ramble and whatever I say on this side now you mightn't hear me at all because I don't have the microphone on as I say but um, hey ho. <laughs> okay, I won't be long, even though I know I won't be long at all because um, I've given myself just a few minutes really. Okay, so let's start. I'm not sure if, yeah, I'll just do the two. I might even just increase these ones that I can see so that they're very big all together because they're the the two at the top are the, the main the main interest for me are those those two that are at the top they're the least um kind of length i got these freezes over a week ago and um i'm looking forward to there these nice new flowers now that i can think i think her friends are buying, buying her flowers for her 18th and myself and Lily got her some yesterday as well. But anyway, I wanted to I wanted to draw these before they, they got um really bad. You know, before they got really limp. Let's see. And you know we had a takeaway last night and Erin made chocolate brownies too, so after this my plan is to do yoga for when you eat too much because I had such a full belly after all that. And um Make this a bit brighter. I think it's white. Might be slightly brighter than that, that other one. But I, can, I don't know if you can see, but the, you can't see. But I think the wind is blowing the freezes so that they're actually ending up. Um, I'm going to bring it closer there. They might end up falling off altogether. I'll just leave it there, there a wee bit closer so hopefully you can see bit more easily what's happening on here. I do love the structure of them like all right so there's um some parts of the freesia are very bright in the sunshine so I'm using this white or white which hopefully will stay white to um capture those parts a little bit more solidly. These are acrylic and I think this is a chalk pen actually and the other one I was using is a was an acrylic pen. I have a black one as well, which I might end up using a wee bit. So there's that structure there. I'll try the black one now. I don't think it's going to show up at all, the black. We'll see. Yeah, no, it's not really. 
especially not for the camera. Um, so we'll carry on with this one. I'll be back in action a bit better, I think, um, soon. I feel I'm recuperating all the time from um, kind of busyness. <laughs> and I think, you know, if I can only let myself relax a small bit, the um, natural inspiration arises to do something. And actually I have been painting and drawing in my bed, but just didn't get the camera out. You know, I've been writing down my dreams actually, and a few friends were saying they had dreams with um, animals in them. And they were talking about the symbolism. So one of them had a dream with a swan. And I ended up drawing a really colourful swan inspired by that. The, um, the, the qualities of the swan are um, strength through silence, I think. And power and beauty and kind of inner power, you know, and inner beauty. Outer as well, I suppose. But I just thought I really quite enjoyed the, it just felt like a good talisman to kind of have on my shelf. So I ended up spending quite a few hours one evening inside my bed drawing this um, colourful swan. If you're on the 30 Days of Art with on your Facebook page, I'll post it on there today. All right. I mean, this, this drawing at least is making me realise that I do really love drawing the shape of Frisia's and so if nothing else it'll um, make me buy some more maybe and have another shot. I'm using the black again now which actually isn't really working. Okay, it's not working. I'm going to use the white for the whole lot even for the dark the dark bits of the leaves there. Not the leaves but the the little trumpets where the flowers used to be because that's something that's very characteristic isn't it of fuchsia that um arch of cups kind of where the flowers used to live there we are and again i'm reminded of um the good medicine that this is and chatting to you a lot as well thanks for your replies yesterday it was really nice that's why i'm here actually because a few folk responded to say hello back after my pathetic 45 second video. Um, so it was really nice for you to do that, thanks, I appreciate that. And a shout out to my sister Rita, who um, sent a beautiful video back of herself and her wee baby Kate, who I'm longing to see and hold. <laughs> and actually yesterday it was really nice to get that because I was reminded too of Erin when she was that age, born in March. 2003, Erin was um, the most gorgeous baby. And you know, she was born at home and the midwife wasn't even with us. It was just myself and her dad um, Gordon. And when she arrived, Erin. <laughs> and it was all very kind of easy. I mean, my memory of that is, is that it was easy now. I don't know if at the time, but I think of all of my births, she was probably the easiest one. And she was um, born in Roslyn, you know. But the reason I'm saying that is because it doesn't seem that long ago. I know everybody says this, but I can remember sitting with her that summer in the garden, just loving her so much, you know. And um, seeing Kate yesterday, who's a few months old, she was born in October, just reminded me of the, the big dark eyes and that just mesmerizing kind of quality that babies have that you really just want to keep on looking at them and breathing them in almost. So if you, if you do have children, if you don't have children, if you're in the, in the vicinity of a small child, have a look into their eyes today and just there's something really glorious in there. Now, I don't know if you can see any of this, can you? Well, you can, a bit. All right. Um, can I do one more? There's one kind of, they're all dangling around in the, in the breeze here, but there's, there's one that's kind of going down, down the way. It might be no harm, compositionally to have to fill that one in as well. It's open. And then I'll say goodbye to you because um, I've got a got a day ahead. I've actually got a dance class in the woods back in action. Um 
I'm able to meet outdoors again now with Midlothian and I'm going to do um, five rhythms dancing which I really love so that's where I'm headed after this video it's a very good thing you know to shake off the body I know I've always said that in videos and things just um, I think it just gives us a reset a bit like what is it swans or ducks or all animals probably shake it off you know if they I know Maisie does um, just whatever whatever it is and I think especially humans um, have got good reason to be shaking things off these days so um, I would recommend it my sister Eileen has been doing meditation with us on, on zoom and she was shaking it off last week and we were all you know shake to the left and shake to the right and just wiggle around a bit and do a silly dance and have a laugh a bit of laughing yoga as well which is uh, vital so there we are and my uh, rules for living <laughs> for goodness sake somebody did write rules for living life didn't they actually wasn't it Mary Oliver who said be astonished look at the be attentive be it pay attention to the world be astonished tell about it something like that I'm sorry Mary Oliver if I've quoted you all wrong there but I just love her poetry be astonished tell about it that's definitely part of it anyway pay attention to the world as it was pay attention to the world be astonished tell about it pay attention to everything do you know <clears throat> one thing that you can never tire of paying attention to if you like me anyway and i'd say most people would be drawn to this is just to draw flowers draw and paint flowers and I know some people are fantastic and have flowers in their garden and they don't go buying them, you know. But um, I think I just love having the colour around me so much and I haven't yet got my garden into action. Although, well, I, a few years ago my mum did. She, she sorted it out, she came over and I had a fantastic garden that year with loads of sweet peas and everything. Um, so mum, if you're listening, the next available... Um, possibility for you to come over here you're very welcome <laughs> but uh, my daughter hope got me wildflower seeds for my birthday I think it was no it was Christmas and um, I thought I'm actually I'm going to at least I'm going to plant those out the wildflower seeds and then see what happens but also I've got someone coming to to put up a fence so that Maisie can't get into all of the garden because she's been digging holes in the grass. And there's a bit by the studio where I really just want to plant some flowers, because I just love flowers. I know people say it's good to have food and everything, planting vegetables, and I did buy a book on sustainable gardening that way, but really, my passion first is um, the colour and, yeah, just to have my own flowers growing. So that's my plan this summer watch this space. I actually bought a gardening magazine yesterday because I just thought it was a, a cottage garden so I just loved the look of the flowers on the cover. And I thought if I can get myself into a place of visualising the joy of colour in the garden that'll probably fire the engine to, to get moving on it, you know. But there's a guy coming anyway to build up that fence and he's going to, you know, do various jobs to clear up the space. And from there, you can take it from there, one step at a time. The old John Henry Newman quote, I do not ask to see the distant path. One step enough for me. Come on, Maeve. Oh, I don't even know what this one was. Where is that? Oh, okay. There isn't actually any very bright bits in these flowers, but I want, I want there to be some brighter bits. So I'm going to just make them up. I don't know. I hope you can hear what I'm saying here. So the next course I'm teaching is a landscape course and that'll be happening on the 18th of April for any of you who are, I, I'm going to send out an email to let you know about that, those of you who are signed up for it. There's 10 spaces on my courses and you know they've been tending to fill up fairly swiftly. So if any of you are interested in doing the next landscape course, that begins in um, June, middle of June. 
and I might run I'll see if I've got loads of vigor around summertime and I might run um I don't know like a week long thing or something I might do a few days on portraiture or flower painting we'll see along with the landscape right I think I'm going to get about time my usual thing sometimes I forget all about what time it is and I might miss my dancing which would be horrific okay so there oh, that's what happened with the flowers just a quick little drawing really oh we get the sunshine um, it's quite satisfying though working black uh, white and black and then I just put the flowers in front of you too because there's nothing better really than the real thing is there oh, look at them just gorgeous okay right and I dedicate this to my lovely middle daughter Erin who's 18 today Erin lots of love we all love you very much and we're so happy that you're in our world <laughs> and uh, she'll probably all watch this I'll make her watch the end of it um, and uh, Maisie's gonna have a field day with those balloons I need to take lock her out while I'm out dancing I'll put her in the hall okay so this is Anya Devine saying goodbye and if it's your first time looking at this um, one of my videos there's quite a few other ones too on painting and different things Um, you know this is quite um, a, a swift one in relation to the others and the, the sound mightn't be great and all that Um, isn't it lovely to see the sun shining I hope the sun is shining where you are even if the sunshine is coming from your own heart <laughs> how's that for corny all right i'll see you hopefully tomorrow i'll, be, I'll have lots of flowers for inspiration tomorrow bye lots of love